um, the T, the big T. That's. Why don't you guess what it is too? Yeah, it's the typing. Oh my gosh, did it freeze on me? Did it touch freeze on me? Uh, no, no, yes, no. Oh, that there we go. Um, yes, la 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 la. Kitty face. Oh yeah. That's the typing. Um, the crop tool, which is right next to the the typing tool. Um, this is if you want to make your page smaller. Like if you drew a picture all the way in the corner, like right over here where I'm circling, and you cover this with your crop tool, and you make it shorter, like all the way place you want. Like if I want it to be like right there. There's these two little things. Like right here, this means no. Green means yes. I click yes. And what do you know? It cuts it. This one I'm sorry, I don't I don't know what it does. <laughs> um this is for pictures, the straighten tool. Oh wait no this is when you can turn your picture around so if you have any problems like you know turning it normally or if you don't know like you know how to um like draw on the steady kind of thingy Jigger, you can always turn it by using the straightening tool. Let's see. Uh, I need to. I need to put it back. Hold on. Mm. What did I do? I don't really care anymore. Um, the red eye removal tools for pictures, the band aid tools for pictures, the stamp tools for pictures, the eraser. Yes, everyone knows what the eraser is. You know, um, the brush. I love the brushes. There are so many choices, which I'm really happy that the people that made this gave us so many choices. There's so many. Right here in the little box, it says default brushes. There's even more. And guess what? There is puppies! Oh, puppies! There is puppies! 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 Mm, sorry. Um, got a little hair. Let's use pink for a little bit. So yeah, there's all these cool different kinds of neat things that you can use. As you can see, I am using musical notes. So yeah, it's really cool. Um, anyway, this one, like, if you select a layer, you can change it to any color. Like my favorite color is purple. And you want that. And everything turns purple. Well the ones that you choose turn purple. The I nope. Whatever. Just did it. The paint bucket, you know, whatever. Um, 
um oh this i love this i love it um you can um you can edit these and make them different colors they also have custom colors for you the ones with the checkered ones means that it will blend in with your layer so the longer you go the more blend it will get isn't that cool i bet you've seen me use this a lot in my speed paint so yeah i also cheat with this like this with the little speaking thing Rotate on and on. Oh, hold on. Um, for the blending thing. Also, if you don't want the checkered, you can change a color if I wanted red with aqua. There is the first selection, which is your selection, and it will. It will do that. Um, there's different kinds of ones. There's different kinds of things, as you can see. As you know, we all like cats, except for cat haters, like my dad. Um, I'm going to put a cat there. What do you know? There's as there is my cat. And you can also like you know oh, how you get that like weird line. Like for example, this really ugly digitally line. You have to go up here and there's this little button right below the window and it says simplify. You have to click it and then it'll leave it alone. Also, up here with this white box and this red line across it, you can have cool different effects for your for your figure. And I don't know why it's not doing that, but I uh, well. And also, these are awesome. This you get to blur, which is, as you can see, the blur tool. Well, you can't really see it, but I'm blurring it. And the sharpen tool is when you sharpen the edges. The smudge tool. Like, if I wanted to make the kitty fuzzy. Or a, or a morphed head. It doesn't really matter you can smudge it. Okay, now it looks like a rabbit. I apologize. <laughs> Cat rabbit! Um, so, yeah. And over here is the sponge tool, which really does just makes it blend in slightly. Slightly. Um, the dodge tool makes it brighten and the burn tool which makes it darken as you can see and yep that's about it so oh one more thing um there's different kinds of effects you can use like for this i love these like for if you want that cat to look like it's going fast you can click an effect and there's this button right here that says apply and right here it shows your figure and it will also show right there And you press OK and it leaves it like that. What do you know? Or I'm going to do this, which makes it a bigger kind of material.
which it gets confusing at times. But don't worry, you'll get used to it. So, as you know, yes, these are my demorphed cats. And so, this is it for the video, and I hope you liked it. And I know it might take, it, it might have took a little long for it, but don't worry. Um, the next video, I am going to show you how to.